Hi everyone, this is Ms. Jell and I will show you how to use or how to make a call in Batch Dialer. So first, um, we're going to enter on the Batch Dialer web, which is the batchdialer.com. And then we will going to sign in. We will put our email address and our password here. And also we'll click agree to the terms and service and privacy policy of batch dialer and then we will click login after logging in this is the batch dialer dashboard wherein you can see all of your call summary and the, the summary of the reports for uh, for the day here you can see um, how how many uh, the average call duration the average wait time the average abandoned time and also here is the total talking time i think this is for the week it depends with the filter that you put here um if it's from march 22 until march 29 only this summary will depend on what you put here in the filter if it's today only last seven days last four weeks last three months 12 months it depends if uh, what is your choice so here the first when you enter or when when we log in to batch dialer you are going to see first the dashboard of it and uh, there is also the options here which is the dashboards campaigns where in in campaigns here we can see all of the campaigns that we uploaded in the dialer so also you can see what is the, the status of that each of the status of each campaign if it's inactive and if you say after hours it means that um this hour is not um the hour that we set for the dialer or for this campaign to be dialed so yeah there is also the summary the total leads pending dials pending redials deals answered voicemail abandoned and dnc so batch dialer um i think this is a pretty much a simple dialer with all of the details that you need in order for you to to track um, if you do have um, many agents or VAs um, you can track their performance or how they handle their calls from time to time also here there's an option which is the contacts here you can see each of the contacts that you uploaded in the dialer um, it is um, you can see every every contacts in every campaign here so you can and also I think you can search if you want to search for a specific contact you can put here so let's say Sam Smith then you can you can search the contacts uh, of Sam Smith and you can see the details of that um, contact also that the contact list it's just the same and the recent contacts here in the recent contacts um, if your agent or if your VA um, already um, already doing calls you can see their their calls here actually recent contacts uh, you can you can uh, find here all the reports or what I uh, I mean you can you can listen to the recordings here if it's if the recording is enabled you can you can just click the uh, here the vol like the volume button here if you can if you will click that 
you can you can see the recorder you can play it and then you can hear uh, the conversation of the agent and the seller and also the time in status here you can see if how our what is the time your agent or your VA logged in and logged out if he or she had a break if how many minutes he's not uh, his or her not available you can track actually you can track every performance that your VA is doing so it's user friendly for me uh, for me to summarize what is uh, the overall review for batch dialer if you are an investor um, it's pretty simple it's user friendly uh, easy to manage easy to learn and um, yeah that's it so if I, I think batch dialer offers like seven days free trial I don't know if it's still ongoing or if it's still active but I think that is the way that is the way that um, you can you can learn how their system works without uh, paying paying the monthly subscription first so if I if I were you if I am an investor that uh, I'm looking to do some cold calling uh, you can try you can try batch dialer you can try their free trial just to getting to know the system if you like it or not so that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video and please please subscribe